Hi, this is 100 and 100, where we are reviewing 100 VR games in 100 days. Today we're looking at Racket NX. Racket NX is a game of racquetball on steroids and from the future and with enhanced capabilities as a racquetball player. This is a game that you are going to fall in love with, you're going to come back to, and you'll want to beat your last score, on and on and on. You're going to just really love Racket NX, and we're excited to review that for you today. In our VR gear game reviews, we cover as many aspects of a VR game as we can so that you can make it an informed decision before you try or buy one of these VR titles. Racket NX is a fun game that allows you to play racquetball with items and with a racket that has powers beyond what you'll find anywhere in reality, and we had a lot of fun playing it. Let's jump right into getting up and running with Racket NX, starting with where you can buy this title. Racket NX is available on the Steam Store, as part of a Vive Port Infinity subscription, or you can buy it from Vive, or it's available on the Oculus Store. It's selling for $19.99 on all of their stores, and you're able to download and install it with a two gigabyte file. It is not available on the PSVR Store, so you'll have to find it on one of these other platforms if you're going to jump into Racket NX. But once download is complete and installation finishes, you'll be able to jump into the game and start playing right away by swinging your racket at a floating, glowing, fast-moving racquetball from the future as you go through the tutorial. During the tutorial, you'll learn all the different moves that you're able to do with the racquetball and how you can succeed while playing Racket NX. The goal of the game is to hit your racquetball at certain parts of a sphere that you're sitting on the inside of. You are surrounded in 360 degrees by glowing shapes on a glowing wall that is constantly changing and adapting to gameplay. As you succeed, difficulty increases. As you score more points, your power meter increases. This game, once you get in, is really kind of addicting and we think you'll really love playing Racket NX. <laughs> Racket NX is in the arcade sports category, and this one is a lot of fun, and you just might work up a sweat playing it. Because it's a 360 degree game, we really recommend playing this one untethered. Now, not everyone has an untethered Vive or Valve Index or Oculus. While that is a possibility, we would recommend playing this game on the Oculus Quest. The standalone headset from Oculus that also plays Racket NX. The graphics aren't going to be as good as the Valve Index where we played it, but gameplay is going to be far more satisfying if you play this game in an untethered way, and the easiest way to do that is with the Oculus Quest. But this arcade sports game is definitely one of the best titles we've seen in this category. <laughs> For a player perspective, you'll play this game from the first person perspective, but there is no body that you are actually seeing as being represented in the game. You'll see your racket and the ball as it approaches you. You will be placed in the center of a sphere on a platform and the game is played in the 360 degrees around you. The ball will come at you from one angle and as you hit that ball back at the wall of the sphere, it will go in any direction, including behind you or to the side or above or beneath you. And as a result, you need to be aware of where the ball is at all times to succeed in this game. But you will be the center of attention, you are the center of the platform, and the game is played from the first person perspective. The theme of this game is futuristic sports with enhanced capabilities, and all of this is centered around the racquetball idea. You aren't really playing racquetball, there's nobody else on the court, but you are swinging a racket at a ball. As a result, they are calling this racquetball from the future. There isn't really a story here, and we wouldn't expect there to be. This is more of a casual pick it up and play type game. Your progress is saved, difficulty increases as you progress through the different levels, and for the most part, you're going to be enjoying a futuristic experience of what sports may look like many years into the future. Or you can play it today 
in VR with Racket NX. The controls for this game are very simple. The actions that you need to actually do in the game are limited to swinging your racket and pulling the ball back towards you. That is about it. And as a result, there's only one button that you need to push while playing, and that is the trigger. The trigger brings the ball back toward you, and that allows you to swing with more power to hit the racquetball in the direction that will score you the most points. As a result, there are no other buttons, there are no other controls that you need to be aware of, and you can focus on mastering your swing. As you swing your racket at the ball, you are able to actually get a response from the angle that you hit with. That includes swinging in a direction with your racket tilted, the game will respond to that. So that type of input was very impressive and appreciated, and that allowed us to do certain things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Add spin to the ball or hit it in an angle that your swing wouldn't necessarily create. These were really great control inputs that had nothing to do with buttons and everything to do with a good tracking system built into the game that was implemented by the developers. <laughs> For this game, music and sound was almost as important as the visuals, or maybe you could argue that it was more important than the visuals because the sound was synchronized to the visuals in the game, the glowing lights, flashing ball, and the music was really great. It was upbeat, it was kind of electronica, EDM, disco type music. You felt like dancing, but you were too distracted by the responsibility you had to hit that racquetball back at the wall of the sphere you were standing inside of. All in all, the sound of the ball hitting the racket and the ball hitting the wall and the music really added a lot to make this game immersive and pretty satisfying to be in. <laughs> For player movement, this game is definitely designed for an untethered experience, although you are able to play with lighthouses or motion trackers that come along with the Oculus Rift, the Rift S, the Vive, Vive Pro, or the Valve Index. However, like I said earlier, we recommend playing this game in an untethered way, and that's because as a player, you have a 360 degree world that you're playing inside of. The ball can come from any direction, and as a result, you will be spinning in circles a lot of the game. What we experienced was, in our tethered experience, we had to quickly unravel ourselves and spin almost 360 degrees around the opposite direction to avoid getting tangled in our own cables that were outside of the virtual reality experience. And that's what player movement is in this game. Rotating around a single axis, 360 degrees, to the right or to the left to make sure you can track the ball and hit it back. For motion sickness, this game is highly likely to not make you motion sick. Because you are limited to standing in one spot and the rotations that you make in the real world are reflected precisely in the virtual world, you don't get the disorientation that comes from mismatching your physical movements with virtual movements. As a result, motion sickness is greatly reduced in this game and the likelihood of becoming motion sick is very minimal. Those that are new to VR may feel a small sense of disorientation related to the sphere that is around them, the floor that is lower than you at some parts, and also spinning in circles a great deal. Other than that, if you are used to VR, you will not be getting motion sick in this game, and we're glad because it was a lot of fun and we wanted to stay in there a lot longer than most other titles that are highly likely to get motion sick. <laughs> For environment and immersion, this game had a lot of really interesting things that the developers did to make standing in the center of a sphere interesting. They could have just made this boring and we hit a blue racket ball back and forth against the wall, but they didn't. They added lights, they added shapes that needed to be hit, they added music, they added a lot of things that made the environment come to life and made it really engaging. And the physics of the game kept us on our toes, making us want to really find the ball and hit it right back at the sweet spot that would get us the most points. As a result, we were very immersed in this game. The lights, the colors, the music, the gameplay, all made for a really immersive experience while we were playing Racket NX. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the overall scorecard for Racket NX, starting with theme and story. Now, this game didn't have a storyline, but there was a theme that the game had about Racket 
football and futuristic sports. Though there wasn't much going on outside of gameplay, which we really enjoyed, the theme of story is getting a score of 6 out of 10. For controls, we're giving this game a really high score of 8 out of 10. There weren't a lot of controls that were involved with playing, but those that were involved were very responsive. They were learnable and you were able to master them so that you could get really good at the game. You didn't have to focus on relearning the controls. They weren't controls that you would fumble over during gameplay. They were just simple and responsive, and we really loved the controls in this game. An 8 out of 10 for controls. For music and sound, this game is getting an 8 out of 10. The music in this game, as well as the sound effects that were implemented, were incredibly immersive. They were very satisfying and enjoyable to have, and we really think that you'll enjoy it as well. We give this game an 8 out of 10 for music and sound. For player movement, this game is getting an 8 out of 10. Now, this is a standing game that allows you to move in 360 degrees. The game is losing some points not because it didn't implement a standing game well, it's losing points because most headsets on the market today that can play this game are tethered and if you're spinning in 360 degrees a tethered experience along with this game detracts from the game's positive value. So this game should be played with an untethered headset. Most headsets are tethered so player movements get an 8 out of 10 with some room to improve, mostly on the hardware side. For motion sickness, we're giving this game an almost perfect score of nine out of 10. It is very unlikely that you'll get motion sick in this game. If you are new to VR or if you are hypersensitive to motion sickness, there might be a slight chance that the floor being lower than your feet or the requirement to spin in 360 degrees could cause some motion sickness, but that is a very small chance. And so a near perfect score of nine out of 10 for motion sickness for this game. And finally, Environment and Immersion. This game is getting a very high score of an 8 out of 10. This game is very engaging. You want to keep playing. It keeps your attention. It keeps you on your toes. The music is exciting. The lights are draw you in and you really want to succeed at this game. It's very approachable, playable, immersive, and you really will enjoy Racket NX. Environment and Immersion gets an 8 out of 10. And now for the overall score for Racket NX, we're giving this a really great score of a 7.8 out of 10. We really enjoyed this game. It's available on all of the stores except for the PSVR store. We highly recommend you play this game in an untethered headset. The best option there is the Oculus Quest. So go out there and give this one a shot and let us know what you think. This has been 100 in 100 where we are reviewing 100 VR games in 100 days. Hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can be notified tomorrow when we release another VR game review. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.